Dipteryx odorata is a species of flowering tree in the pea family, Fabaceae. That tree is native to Central America and Northern South America. Its seeds are known as tonka beans. They are black and wrinkled and have a smooth brown interior. They have a strong fragrance similar to sweet woodruff due to their high content of kumarin. The word tonka is taken from the Galabi tongue spoken by natives of French Guiana. It also appears in Tupi, another language of the same region, as the name of the tree. The old genus name, Kumaruna, was formed from another Tupi name for tree, Kumaru. Biology of the tree the tree itself grows up to 25 to 30 meters, with a trunk of up to 1 meter in diameter. The tree bark is smooth and gray, whereas the wood is red. The tree has alternate pinnate leaves with 3 to 6 leaflets, leathery, glossy and dark green, and pink flowers. Each developed fruit contains one seed. D. Odorata is pollinated by insects. The worst pests are the bats because they eat the pulpy flesh of the fruit. A few known fungi may cause problems. Anthostomella abdata, Diatrupa ruficunus, Macrophoma calvaligerae and Myocoprin cubensa. The seeds. The tonka seed contains kumarin, a chemical isolate from this plant, which also gave the name to it. The seeds contain about 1 to 3 percent of kumarin, rarely it can achieve 10 percent. Kumaran is responsible for the pleasant odor of the seeds and is used in the perfume industry. Kumaran is bitter to the taste, however, and, in large infused doses, it may cause hemorrhage and liver damage, as well as it can paralyze the heart. It is therefore controlled as a food additive by many governments. Like a number of other plants, the tonka bean plant probably produces coumarin as a defense chemical. Radiocarbon dating of D. Odorata stumps left by a large logging operation near Manaus by Nero Higuchi, Jeffrey Chambers, and Joshua Schimmel, showed that it was one of around 100 species which definitely lived to over 1,000 years. Until their research, it had been assumed unlikely that in any Amazonian tree could live to old age due to the conditions of the rainforest. Uses Tonka beans had been used as a vanilla substitute, as a perfume, and in tobacco before being banned in some countries. They are used in some French cuisine and in perfumes. Its use in food industry is regulated, restricted in the United States by the Food and Drug Administration. Many anticoagulant prescription drugs, such as warfarin, are based on 4-hydroxycumarine, a chemical derivative of coumarin initially isolated from this bean. Coumarin, however, does not have anticoagulant properties. The beans were formerly also spelled Tonkin and Tonkin, although it has no connection with Tonkin, now part of Vietnam. Tonkin is still used today to flavor some pipe tobaccos, such as Samuel Gawith's 1792 Flake Kumaru, also known as Brazilian Teak, is an increasingly popular hardwood used for flooring in the United States. It has a very appealing natural color variation and is considered quite durable as it has a 3,540 rating on the Janka hardness scale. Kumaru Decking has a Class A fire resistance rating, because it has a flame spread index of 20. To qualify for a Class A rating, the wood must have a flame spread index of 25 or less. Cultivation. Today, the main producers of tonka beans are Venezuela and Nigeria. The kumaru tree is an emergent plant and a light demanding calcifuge tree which grows on poor, well drained soils. The best growth is reached on fertile soils rich in humus. In the native region, there is a mean annual temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and about 2,000 mm rainfall per year with a dry season from June to November. In general, it has a very low plant density, but depending on the agricultural use, the density and the age of the trees diversify. In seed production systems, the plant density is higher and the trees are older than in timber production systems. 
The tree flowers from March to May, and the fruits ripen from June to July. So, the fresh fruits are picked up in June and July, and fallen pods are harvested from January to March or sometimes earlier. The hard outer shell is removed and the beans are spread out for two to three days to dry, after which they can be sold. The major producer is Venezuela, followed by Brazil and Colombia. The most important importing country is the United States, where it is used especially in the tobacco industry. Social aspects This species is well known locally and generates an important income for rural families, particularly as a buffer in times of hardship. It is used for timber and non-timber products, so it is crucial that the use of this resource occurs in a sustainable way. The yield of beans per tree is about 1.0 minus 3.5 kilograms per year, but kumaru trees produce a large volume of seeds every four years. This fact results in a gender dynamic. During years of low seed productivity, household income is controlled by the women. They invest in the family by buying food and basic resources such as clothing and school supplies. In years of heavy production, men controlled the income. During those seasons, they invest in the family by buying vehicles and tools, such as motorcycles and chainsaws.